Hello everyone, and welcome to the Tech Upskill channel. In today's video, we'll solve a common issue that many Windows users face. Sometimes, when you log into your Windows 10 or Windows 11 user account, you might encounter the message, we can't sign into your account. This problem can often be fixed by simply signing out and then signing back in. If you're facing this issue for the first time, that step might be enough to restore access to your actual user profile. However, if you continue to receive this error repeatedly, here's what you should do. First, click on the close option. You'll then see a message saying that you've been signed in with a temporary profile. This means your current session is using a temporary account and your actual user account hasn't been loaded. Now let's begin fixing. Step one, find your profile's ACID value. Open the Start menu and search for Command. Right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt window, type the following command and press Enter, Woomi slash user. This will display the SID security identifier for your current user account. Note down this SID value. Step 2. Access the Registry Editor. Open the Start menu again and type Regedit. Open the Registry Editor and navigate to the following path, which I will leave in video description. Inside Profile List Key, you'll find several subkeys, each corresponding to a user profile on your system. These subkeys are named using SID values. Find the SID that matches the one you copied earlier. Click on it and look for a string value named Profile Image Path. If the profile image path shows something like C user slash temp, that means this SID is linked to a temporary profile. If you confirm that this SID belongs to the temporary profile, you can safely delete this registry key. Be very careful at this step. Deleting the wrong profile can make your main account inaccessible. After deleting the correct SID key, restart your computer. Hopefully, this will fix the issue and log you back into your actual user account. And that's it. If this video helped you fix your Windows login issue, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions, and share this video with others who might find it useful. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.